hello guys welcome back to cuisine demand in today's video i am making shawarma for my baby sister-in-law which she hasn't heard nor eaten before this is her first time trying shawarma so listen to her review make sure you watch to the end of the video let's get right into it on my board i have my chicken breast i'm going to go ahead and score them since i have limited time for marinating now scoring them is going to make the chicken absorb the spices quickly. I'm going to make sure all the chicken is well absorbed and massaged with the spices. Now normally I would allow the chicken to marinate overnight or two hours, least at least two hours. But this time I have limited time so we are going to make it as quickly as possible mm -hmm. so I'm going to allow it to marinate for 20 minutes I will also leave a link in the description box below on how I make the spices or the marinade after 20 minutes of marinating I'm going to go ahead and add our uh, buttermilk now from one of our previous videos we know that buttermilk makes our chicken very juicy and since we are making um, shawarma we don't want our chicken to be chewy or hard it should be able we should be able to bite into it easily so to attain or to achieve that juicy um, texture we have to add buttermilk to it and then allow it to also marinate for at least 10 minutes. While our chicken is marinating, I'm going to go ahead and grease my electric grill. You could possibly use your oven or equally use your frying pan on your stove. Make, just make sure it's on a medium heat so it doesn't burn. Since I'm dealing with time and a hungry sister-in-law, I'm going to um, go ahead and shred my vegetables while my um, chicken is on the grill. I'm using only um, cabbage and carrots. You can choose to add any vegetable of your choice. See me see wahalao. After all the greasing I did to this girl, the chicken has decided to disgrace me today. Today of all days. But I refuse to be disgraced. <laughs> Anyways, we move. But the chicken is really looking good though. We still have one more thing to prep, which is our sauce. For our shawarma sauce, we have chili sauce, mustard, mayonnaise, tomato ketchup, and lemon. We are going to mix all these sauces together to make our shawarma sauce. Adding lemon to the sauce distinctively brings all the taste together. I realized my bowl was too small to mix the sauce and the vegetables so I had to pour it into a bigger bowl 
then add my um, sauce before I mix it. It is now time to put everything together but before I do that I'm going to go ahead and shred my chicken you can also cut it if you want it in a chunky way but I'm going to shred it with my fork It is now time to put everything together so basically I have my wrap and uh, my base will be my sauce I then go ahead and add my chicken and then my vegetables you can add as much sauce as you want but remember when you add more it's going to make the whole thing soggy and you wouldn't want to um, have a runny um, sauce around your or through your hands when you bite into um, your shawarma You know how when you are baking meat pie, you brush um, water at the tip so it can seal properly when we are baking it. So my sister-in-law asked why I wasn't doing that um, in the sh wrapping of the shawarma. Then I told her um, in shawarma it is not water that makes it seal but it is the heat from um, your griddle or your pan. So when you transfer your shawarma onto your griddle or onto your pan, it makes the heat makes it seal perfectly so there's no need brushing water onto it and besides the water is going to make it um, soggy either way and our shawarma is ready I'm going to go ahead and serve my hungry sister-in-law to seek her opinion on the taste and um, everything since it's her first time trying it very crispy on the bread with the rich creaminess of the mayo sauce and the chicken is very well seasoned with a hint of spice just how I like it so did you enjoy it I did I give it a 10 out of 10 yeah <laughs> there you have it guys don't forget to subscribe like comment and share also tag us on instagram anytime you try any of our recipes remember in a world where you can be anything be kind bye